Das irische Unternehmen Mcore Technologies stellt auf der CeBIT 2011 einen 3D-Drucker vor. Das Besondere an dem Drucker ist das Material. Er erstellt Objekte aus Papier. Das Gerät verarbeitet Papierblätter im A4-Format, die zusammengeklebt und ausgeschnitten werden. Großer Vorteil des Papierdruckers, die Betriebskosten sind sehr viel geringer als bei einem 3D-Drucker, der Objekte aus Kunststoff oder Metall aufbaut. Das sagt zumindest Conor McCormack, Gründer und Chef des Unternehmens. When you sit down and you look at the numbers to the volume that you print, and if you're going to print a liter uh, a week, or you know that's going to cost you 600 euros or more on a competitor's machine, on an air machine that's going to cost you around 10 euros. So this is the main, the main part of the machine that does all the work. So um, what we have here is the cutting is done on this side of the machine, and then the gluing is done on, on this side. So very simply, if you want to change the blade or get the blade out, you just pull in the blade holder and the blade holder drops down. And this is the actual device uh, that does the cutting on the machine. So there's a very small uh, tungsten carbide blade in there and it just cuts one layer and, not, and, and doesn't cut the second layer. So it just cuts the top layer of material. And then when you have that set, and it's very easy to set the depth, uh, Each one of these divisions is 50 microns. So you, very simply, you can adjust the depth very accurately. And when that's all ready, you just place that back into the, into the device. And here we go, and it's ready to go off. And you notice that the machine, the lights are flashing. So the lights on the machine start flashing if nothing is, if you haven't, if you've left the machine for 30 minutes or longer. When you're finished, you have a full build. It looks like, you know, a lot of sheets of paper. You open the machine, you take the build the plate out and then you, you expose the, the waste material to show the actual part. So here we have an example of a ring um, and you can see this is the part of the paper that fit over uh, that was the waste part of the ring. And when you take it out you can see the, the negative uh, built into the part, into the waste. And it's a simple case because we selectively put down the adhesive um, what you have is a, is a kind of a standard computer-aided design environment. Uh, this is your build area, that's an A4 sheet, and that's the total build volume. So you can put in three reams of paper and to get like 1,500 millimeters high. So that's your total volume. It's around seven, nearly eight liters of print in a full build. That's the maximum build you can do. So simply to bring in a file, you open Uh, the file format is called STL or stereo lithography um, and all the CAD packages can export as STL as a, as a standard. Um, you select your, your file that you want to print. Then it just imports that file. This is a big file so you'll see some really fine high resolution on this. So if I scale this down, so you can scale your models, uh, you can orientate the part uh, whatever way you want okay. in 90 degrees or you can put in individual degree increments. Um, and there's an example of a scan uh, of someone's face. The profile changes as you come up through the layers and every one of these is a, is a sheet. Every one of these is a sheet that you pull in and that's the three-dimensional shape going up through the nose, through the mouth. There's the mouth and the tip of the nose, there's the chin and then the nose is the last piece. Yeah.